When causing an elastic deformation, work is done to store energy in the deformed object. Remember that work is the transfer of energy that occurs when an object is moved a distance by an applied force. And remember that deformations occur when multiple forces are applied to an object, and they include extensions and compressions. So stretching a spring is an example of a deformation, where the length changes. The spring is deformed due to the application of two equal and opposite forces. Therefore, work must be done as the bottom of the spring moves due to the force. The work done gives energy to the spring, so energy is stored within the spring. But what type of energy is stored? Elastic potential energy is the energy an elastically deformed object uses to move back to its original shape. So in an elastic deformation, all of the work stores energy as elastic potential energy. This elastic potential energy comes from bonds trying to bring the particles back to the original shape. So when the force is released, the spring uses the elastic potential energy by converting it to kinetic energy to move the spring back to its original position. So is there any way we can use elastic potential energy practically? Well, elastic potential can be used to store energy and then release it as kinetic energy. For example, think of firing an elastic band or a catapult. We store elastic potential in these devices by deforming the elastic band or the springs in the catapult mechanism elastically and then they're locked in place. When we release the device, the projectile gains kinetic energy from the elastic potential and is launched at high speed. You don't need to be able to recall these specific examples of how elastic potential is used, but you may be asked to describe the energy changes in these and other similar examples in an exam. During inelastic deformations, some of the work done will instead break bonds and cause the object to heat up. So remember during inelastic deformations, objects won't change back to their original shape. Work is done to break bonds, so the object won't store energy to try and bring it back to its original shape. So it's permanently deformed. And during this process, energy is released as heat as a result of breaking bonds. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE physics course. See you there.